see the cars from the freeway. It's on the right side. Okay. And then from there, we just hike down to the river, we'll spend a couple hours relaxing and praying and dancing and singing and whatever you want to do, and then we'll go back. Can we sing Kumbaya? Yeah, I, I, you know, I have a thing in my mind. Like, you're celebrating my mind. Please. Just <laughs> uh, got the boat. What, what, uh, the temperature's gonna be warm today. Um, by the river, it's always cooler. You don't know that. Probably 20 degrees cooler by the, by the river. Once we leave the river, it'll get hotter, like 20 degrees. Plenty of shade there. If you want to be in the sun or the shade uh, or the water. The water's 55 degrees. If you're up for that, I'm not going to be in the water today. It's not warm enough to be. All right, so everybody has a ride. Any questions? Okay, hold on. We're good to go. Yeah, we done uh, disruption by Dennis. So we're going to go now. Okay, bye. Bob Beach, you probably saw, maybe you saw the sign. Uh, oh, that the other right there? Yeah, this is Rep Road. That's uh, Bob Beach. I need that for my friend Bob, who's passed. So, we'll do this. So this is mile marker nine, uh, about two more miles is overlook to Willow Beach, as you may be familiar. So you can see Willow Beach Resort uh, from the freeway to the overlook. And then about two more miles further is X X I'm gonna get to Willow Beach So a little story. Um, last year became my recon team. So we recon um, a bunch of different places to get down to uh, the river. We, we explored Lone Palm. Uh, this one today, we, we call this, I call this Cocoa Beach. Anybody know who Cocoa is? Some of you know Tina? Tina Patton. So that's her professional nickname, code name. I just decided that uh, Cocoa Beach sounds better than Tea Beach. <laughs> Bob Beach just seemed to fit. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we just started exploring. We found a whole bunch of things. When we, got, when we went down to the river, you'll see today a whole bunch of people kayaking up and down the river. We probably saw 100 kayaks on Wednesday. So, so right now we're taking um, a little break in this area so we pretty much did about like two miles already so we're we're gonna go about like two to five minutes break so this is my group so they're still um we're we're, we're not even um, halfway yet So pretty much we're um, heading different ways so the leader is trying to um, to gather it all over so yeah <laughs> they're trying to joking around so pretty much we're missing by four but we're so far so good okay I gotta move
Hello. <laughs> okay, so this is the site that um, we're stopped and we're taking our lunch. So this is Colorado River. So pretty much um, a lot of tourists. So that's how beautiful is the area. So away from the city, just once in a while we come in this place. So some of some of the hikers they go out for swimming. Yeah. So this is my group. So pretty much we're just relaxing under the small tree. So right now this is my group so we're ha we're having fun so the handle thing is uh it's doing okay but this is okay yes so right now the um, all of those is my group so they're swimming so I suppose to swim but uh, I don't bring any um, you know, swimming gear. So pretty much they're having fun right now. Um, they try to cool down because in Las Vegas right now it's gonna be like 92 degrees. So, so far we're too far away from Las Vegas. About uh, more than an hour drive and 10 and then about like five miles to walk into the mountain and nowhere, nowhere uh, unnamed mountain. So this is my group, uh, they're just um, relaxing and um, uh, cooling down So because it's getting hotter now. So I would say about like, here it's about like 90 to 100 degrees, but, but the water is still cold, that's a problem here. But at summertime, pretty much this water, it changed the temperature. So they claim it is about like 55 degrees to um, a 90, uh, about 55 to 60 degrees. So pretty much almost done for today. They're um, Lido recording all of our pain and suffering. Yeah, so the pain and suffering is <laughs> said. <laughs> yeah, so, so pretty much we have um, Yeah, I would just like uh, to cover the whole area so that everybody see it. So this is all about the area. So it's about like um, 3.30 p.m. Saturday. So pretty much this is the whole area that I'm checking.
call it a uh, Lake Mojave. Sit down. Oh, you were about to sit down here. Yeah, I saw you stopping. Oh, we find a snake. One thing you learn about snakes is uh, he's going to be very docile oh, yeah. and not move for it's a long time because that is the snake. All of his energy is going to go into swallowing and digesting that mouse. It'll yeah. Take him. It'll take him a few days. He won't. He won't be you moving very far. almost take a break and sit That's on the snake. snake right As a matter of fact, oh, yeah, he'll probably just stay right there for a few days. Oh yeah. To him and to his predators and stuff. Yeah. So sometimes you can find a snake here, but it looks like this one is sleeping and tired. So I don't know. They like to be petted when they eat. It helps their digestion. Yeah. <laughs> and they're gonna bite us and eat. All right. Bye bye. We found the river. This is it. This one is connected to Colorado up to Nevada. So, this is how wide and big the river. Look at this heading that direction. So, that one from nowhere in this desert. So you can see so there's a lot of tourists just watching and it looks like there is something going on on this area kind of like a, maybe a kayak um, racing what they doing it so well so far we're in there I think this is the site that we're going to stop and eat our lunch so very much like that.